Kind of like a giant jigsaw puzzle, but a lot of the pieces can fit, it seems, anywhere you like. So you've really got to pick and choose to put the right holes in the right place to, to make it work. You kind of need something to push from yeah. there. If you don't prepare well, you could get to the two metres or a metre from the top, and then you run out of holes. the sequence with the volume configuration. Very rare that you'll put your feet above your hands, ever, almost. I had the idea that it would be really fun if we could have some kind of knee bar. And this volume, because it has the, the really positive side, um, creates the angle naturally. It instantly made the knee bar work. And if you don't do the knee bar, I think it's almost impossible to have the length to get to the next volume. The zone, as much as it's almost the top, you can still, I think, you could still drop that top move. Yeah. Uh, having the pump in the arm to do that. Yeah. Green foot and white foot. Just run on the white foot and one green foot down. Yeah. And then... cross over to the trim up there. Because you might come out the toe or the heel. The toe the, the, the toe the toe upside down heel toe can. Feet above my head. What about the pink? Because that's the one you're going to... Yeah, I was just it. looking at it. You have to go through these moves, like a bit around the lip. That's the first, I find, like harder bit where yeah. you get tested. The rest is... If you get it with the feet, yeah. you can go easily. That was the only part where I was like, okay, I have to hold on here. You clip from the zone then, yeah. and then you get this bit, and then we talked the zone two would be the insecure move going to the next yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. And then like these clips with the sink foot, with the shoulder, with the last move, yeah, that will get us to 7C. I think you just need better directional pull. Okay, so let's go. And with the foot further to the left, that's going to be easier, right? Mikkel? Klapper? Det er bare den der indre mentale kamp for at overvinde de der svære, skøre bevægelser, samtidig med at du rent fysisk er performer på det helt maksimum. Ikke? Så det har den der, for mig at se, fuldstændig unikke blanding af, af styrke og, og, og teknik og mental overskud. Det at klatre for mig, det, det giver bare en, en fed følelse at komme op over jorden for at bevæge kroppen. Jeg er altid nyt at være fysisk aktiv. Klatring giver det, plus du skal også være mentalt på. For me, like climbing, it's always been about the movement that I've really enjoyed. And uh, I think being a root setter, then kind of like you have this infinite possibility to express anything and everything. <laughs>